Hey y'all, welcome back. Today, I'm diving into the world of cryptocurrency exchanges. We're talking about centralized exchanges, or CEX, and decentralized exchanges, or DEX. Let's break it down. So, first up, what exactly is a CEX? Think of it like a traditional stock exchange. CEXs, like Binance, act as the middleman between buyers and sellers. They offer a user-friendly interface, a wide variety of cryptocurrencies, and extra goodies like staking and lending. They're super handy, especially for beginners. But like everything, there are pros and cons. The biggest perk? Ease of use. CX provide intuitive interfaces, educational resources, and easy fiat on-ramps. That means you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies with just a few clicks. They also prioritize security with measures like two-factor authentication and cold storage for user funds. However, there's a flip side. Because they're centralized, CEX are prime targets for hackers. A breach could lead to significant losses. Plus, they usually charge higher trading fees, which can eat into your profits if you trade frequently. And don't forget, when you deposit your crypto into their wallets, you're giving up control over your assets. You gotta trust the exchange to keep your funds safe and allow withdrawals. Now let's switch gears and talk about DEXs. These bad boys are all about decentralization. No middlemen here. You trade directly with others using blockchain technology and smart contracts. This means you have complete control over your funds. Plus, DEXs offer enhanced privacy since you don't need to create an account or share personal info. Another big advantage? Lower fees. DECs operate on decentralized networks with fewer overhead costs, so they can offer more competitive fees. Great for cost-conscious traders. But DECs come with their own set of challenges. They can be a bit more complex to navigate, especially for newbies. You'll need to understand concepts like gas fees, liquidity pools, and smart contracts. And sometimes DECs have lower liquidity, which can lead to higher price slippage, especially for larger orders. So, which one's for you? If you're just starting out and want something easy to use with lots of support, a CEX might be the way to go. But if you're a more experienced trader who values privacy, control, and lower fees, a DEX could be your best bet. Remember, the choice between a CEX and a DEX depends on your individual trading needs and preferences. Both have their strengths and weaknesses. So do your research and choose the one that fits you best. That's it for today, folks. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. See y'all next time.